Stand and Fight TV. We're here with Omar Panterita Figueroa. Omar, congratulations on your last victory. Thank you. you got a fight coming up this weekend. Uh, Fox Sports, I believe. San Antonio, Texas. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, well, you know, uh, I've been preparing for this fight since uh, January. Um, I've been off since last July. So, I mean, it's been a while, but I think the break did me, did me well because during this whole camp, you know, I felt, I felt great. I felt like never before. My body, I just, I felt superhuman at some point, you know, like, I was sore all of January, you know, my breaking my body in. Uh, getting, you know, back in the groove of things, the sparring, everything, and my head hurt, my body, my legs, my calves, my shoulders, my arms, everything was, any, every, everything you can think of, my coaches took care of, you know, finding that muscle and, and you know, exploiting it. I feel great, I'm, I'm you know, I've been, I've, I haven't been uh, struggling with weight at all, um, everything is just going, just going perfectly smooth. You've been out here in, 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 uh... Indio with the Diaz brothers doing your, your whole training camp. Usually you would train uh, a little bit out there in, in Texas and then you'll come out here. But for this camp, you did it something a little bit different. You're committed to your whole camp here. I mean, I, I do love it here. I, I, love, I love everything about, you know, about how they work their camp to, uh, to you know, what they have me do, what they have me eat. I mean, it's, they have the, the best of everything here. You have uh, nutrition, you have strength and conditioning, you have boxing, you have the sparring, you have, you know, they're, they're geniuses, you know, when it comes to, to boxing. And, and the best thing is that it's, it's very, it gets very personal, you know. Um, the workouts and everything, uh, even though there are several, you know, professional fighters here, the, even the workouts are personalized, you know, to, to one's, uh, I guess, our body, how, how we're doing, our weight. And uh, I, th I think it's great. I mean, uh, we, this time, what I, what I didn't like about this camp is we didn't really use, you know, the outdoors as much. We didn't go hiking, biking, do much of that. But uh, I, I still, I mean, I mean, to be away from home, I, I'm, I'm a family man. First and foremost, you know, I, I, that's, what I, that's, that's what I do. You know, I, I've never been away from my family for so long um, until I started coming training here. But, I mean... They, they treat me like family, so it, it, it doesn't you know, really bother me as much. But I did get to a point in this camp, and actually it was just last Friday, the, the day of closing camp, you know, that weekend, um, I, was, I started getting homesick. I was like, ah, I gotta get over it, I gotta get over it. You know, I have a fight, I have to focus. And, but I got over it. Once I got back in the ring, you know, I started moving around again. And, uh, but yeah, like a, I mean, they make, they make, I love it here. I, I wouldn't mind moving here and, and, you know, staying permanently. The only thing would be that I'd just, I'd, I'd have to move my family. Um, you're fighting Henry Arad, uh, one of your stable mates, Julio Diaz. He fought him. Uh, he fought him at 146. You're going to fight him at 140. What do you think about Arad and his, his, his height, his reach? I don't. I don't know. I haven't looked him up. Uh, the, all I know about him is that he fought Julio and Julio knocked him out. Um, but as far as like the fighters concerned, I I absolutely have no idea. Um, I just know he's you know Colombian mm -hmm. and maybe the color of his skin. But <laughs> other than that, uh, I mean, just from what they've told me, that he's tall, he's lanky, and that. You know how he fights more or less. Who we'll just you know give him some tips here and there, but and we're gonna find out. You know we're gonna find out either way. I mean I train for. I'm ready for whatever you know is is, is gonna get thrown at me. I mean, I've been sparring with Bradley, and uh, if if I mean I don't know if you were here to witness it personally, but uh, aside from the last sparring we had, I mean we <laughs> we went. Even then, even the last part, I mean, we, we went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know, I mean, he got the better end of the stick that last, this last time, but, I mean, I, I don't back down, we, we threw and we, and we worked and it was great. What's it like sparring Bradley with, like, say, somebody of, of that caliber, kind of? The thing is that it gets competitive, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's, 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 it's intense, it, it, uh, it's invigorating, you know, it's not like you're sparring somebody else and you have to sometimes hold back or... Or you know you you have to work with them. No, like here it's you know toe to toe. You hit me, I'm gonna hit you back. And and I mean we 
I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we were averaging at least 150 punches a round. I mm. mean, we were going at it, and I mean, we were winded. We're, we're both, you know, uh, 10 plus round fighters, and we six rounds got the best of us. Some, sometimes when you guys are going full blast, um, is there not being able to work, get in the way, like work on certain things? No, I mean that that's that's what I like most about our our, our sparring. I mean that's why they agreed to it too. Um, the fact that you know I'm a pressure fighter. That's how I fight. That's how I'm gonna fight. You know, I mean if I have to box, well I I know how to box. I can do that too. But um, the thing is that he's fighting a pressure fighter, so I can actually I could actually just be myself. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I mean to. I, I know I know a lot of guys. I've been seeing you know I, I've seen forums and yeah. threads and every, where guys write off Timothy because he can't hit and yeah. he has no power and, and you know but this camp he really honestly he, he and I've I've been in there with 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 all sorts of mm -hmm. guys you know I you know from A class fighters to Z class sparred Brandon Rios I've sparred Brandon yeah. Rios I've sparred Valero I've sparred Amir Khan you know I've been I've been around what's it like sparring those guys Valero and but, well, Valero <laughs> that guy that guy's a different story that guy you know it's, it's like they say in Spanish mis, mis respetos that yeah, guy yeah. is wow that I unbelievable I mean I I'd always sparred you know I may not have that much experience in the amateurs or mm -hmm. when it comes to fights or whatever when it comes to sparring I've been you know in there with whoever they have whoever's available whoever they want me to spar whoever needs me or whatever you know I'm done I'm mm -hmm. there I'm there and uh, Valero was uh, right now um, he's still number one mm -hmm. to me he's still number one and he's one of the guys that I would have been you know there's very few guys that I'd be you know, scared to get in the ring with. Mm -hmm. I'd still get in the ring with him because I love that, you know. Mm -hmm. But he and along with Pacquiao and uh, I really don't know. I really, I mean, I haven't, I haven't given it much thought. But as far as I know right now, Pacquiao was at least someone I would, I would have been, you know, uh, nervous to get in the ring with. And Valero definitely. That guy, yeah. every punch he threw, he meant, you know, he wanted to kill you with it. Um, and he had the conditioning to to you know back that up, and I it was it came to no surprise after a sparring why he was twenty seven and zero with twenty seven knockout. Feeling feeling Valero's power sometimes when you get in the ring and you feel other fighters' power does that kind of is it was it like a confidence booster? My whole entire you know career I guess you could say boxing I had never been rocked so many times as I had with Valero. Like he rocked me more times than I ever had been combined. Mm. Uh, that guy, like I said, he threw every punch with menace and he, he meant to hurt you. Uh, another thing is that um, he did well to the body too. I remember uh, a couple of times I, would, I walked to the corner uh, with, you know, the air, the wind knocked out of me. I would go to the corner and be like, oh, and my dad would ask me, okay? I'm like, ah. and he's like, I want you stop it. I'm like, oh, oh. like, you know, but man, it, that's what, that's what I live for. That's why I box, you know, I love that. I love being hurt. I love hurting. I, I guess you can say I'm mas I'm a masochistic when it comes to that. You know, I my opponents need to understand that the more they hit me, you know, the the the, the better the fight's gonna be. I mean, the more I get punched, the the more riled up I get, the the harder I'm gonna want the more I'm gonna want to hurt them. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm all for it. You know, I'm in boxing. What 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 do I expect? You know, I'm bound to, to get hit anyways. So come this Saturday, what can we what can we expect? Um, well, hopefully, you know, the, I mean, the weight looks good. There shouldn't be a problem with that. Um, I'm just, I'm going to fight like I usually do. You know? You're going to fight at 140. You're, you're taking a little step up. How do you feel about fighting at 140? Well, I mean, the, the only reason I'm fighting at 140 is because I had such a big layoff. Mm -hmm. So Golden Boy, you know, wanted to break me in slowly, you know, get me at 140. Then uh, maybe my next fight, you know, a little bit less. And then until I have a, you know some sort of sanctioned fight at 135 mm -hmm. uh, hopefully for a belt or something along those lines um, so so yeah I mean, there's no point in going killing myself going down to 135 you know after such a long layoff um, I think I think they I think this is a, the, the, the best way to do it and I feel great I feel like I said I haven't had any problems with the way I feel strong I feel I feel ready I'm ready but say for instance you feel great at 140. 
There's a lot of fighters out there at 140. You think you might plan on staying at 140? Um, well, the, a goal of ours is to win something at 135. Plus, Broner's at 135. Mm -hmm. So, you know, hopefully... I mean, there's there's some, some good talent at 135. What are your know? thoughts about Broner? I mean, he's he's a cheap copy of uh, Mayweather. It's, you know, something you get, you know, like you go to the swap meet and buy some pir pirated version of, of a movie, you know, and... Uh, he really doesn't impress me. Um, he's fighting guys that are like two feet short, shorter than him. I mean, I fought a guy like that once. I beat him in the first round. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not impressive. I mean, I, I'm not taking anything away from the guy. He, I mean, it, it takes it. One doesn't get to where he's at just simply by you know existing. He, I mean, he's worked his ass off too, I'm sure. But uh, I don't think he's been tested to the point where I mean, the well, the time that he was tested, you know, a lot of people. You know, you could say he lost that fight against Ponce de Leon. Um, but, you know, we've all been there. So maybe it was an off day or whatever, but uh, I would love who I mean, I don't really care who I fight as long as, you know, they're the best and they're the best out there. And if there's no more best at 135, then I move to the best at 140 and we'll go from there.